nervous, but this is my sauce and the spaghetti's boiling. Um, I'm gonna strain or drain the spaghetti with um, the strainer. And um, I have the salad set up so far. It's a Caesar salad with some Parmesan cheese shredded and um, our cups are, you know, here. So um, I'll show the finishing touches afterward. But um, he's gonna be coming like any minute now and I'm nervous. I don't know why I'm nervous, but I'm nervous, I guess, because I'm cooking for my father for the first time. Um, but um, yeah, my spaghetti pretty much is looking good. And it's to the, it's to the, um, let me see. Yeah, it's soft. I'm about to strain. I'll catch you guys later. This is it, guys. My dad is here. And um, of course, the head of household, the king, sits here. And me, I just got like a plastic plate because I always eat in plastic plates. But there's the spaghetti. Um, I made some bread and some salad. I'm about to go downstairs to see my dad, get him from downstairs, and you guys get to come with me. Let me locate my keys first. I'm so nervous because it's my first time cooking for my father and it's his first time. Look at this guys, I can't adult. Yeah, today. he had, he just called me, but yeah, it says I can't adult today. Isn't that cute? <laughs> All right guys, so once again, this is what we got going on and I don't think I'm missing anything. Um, yeah, so. All right, so I'm gonna go downstairs to get my dad. I don't think I'm missing anything. Um, probably put some Parmesan cheese out if he wants some cheese or whatever the case may be, but I'm nervous, guys. I'm so nervous. Jeez, uh, I'm nervous. So this is basically what I'm looking like. I'm real comfortable, real comfy. So yeah, um, I told him to park outside. Why am I so nervous, y'all? I am so nervous. <laughs> I am so nervous. He gets to see the crib for the first time. He gets to eat with his daughter the first for the first time. And um, yeah, and you get to see him. I wonder what he's wearing. My dad is a very stylish, like kind of like little cool kind of guy. Hey guys. Hey girl. Hey. So we're outside looking for him. Oh, he parked all the way over here. My dad said that my food is good. <laughs> it's good, Dad. Yes, it's very good. Very good. Ou pas bon manger? No. <laughs> no. Ou qu'on fait manger? Ou pas bon manger? Mais par contre, ne pas manger, ou ça. 
Ma oh my God. It's good? Okay, mm. good, good, good. I'm happy, I'm okay. happy. Let me go to let you. Hey guys, so dad just left and we talked about so much. I'm so happy. Dinner was a success. He loved the spaghetti. He loved the, the um, he loved the spaghetti. He loved the, uh, the, um, everything that I made for him. And I'm just happy that I was able to cook something for him and we could sit and have dinner. I showed him around my whole apartment and pretty much I told him like he can pull up anytime and go to the gym, do whatever he wants to do, go to the pool. So, you know, I love my dad, bro. Hey guys, hola. Hey, how you doing? Good. Thank you. So yeah, guys, going back to my apartment. So um, I'm just really happy. So um, basically my dad and I, we had dinner. We had a great conversation about how he met my mom and you know, like the little games he used to play with girls. My dad had all the girls. Like when he was back in the Bahamas, my dad had like all the girls. Like my dad, and my dad has a lot of swag. Like even at 63, I could see the charm. He has a lot of charm to him. Like when he talks, I could see how girls, you know, like, would like him because he's very charming. He's a very smooth talker. He's very funny, very charismatic, very, very energetic, very charismatic, a lot of personality. And that's where I get my personality from my dad, I can tell because, you know, he's very vibrant. And he was just telling me all the stories about how he pretty much had like six different girlfriends back in the day. And... My mama was one of them. He was really honest. And I appreciate my dad's honesty because, you know, he could have lied and said, oh, I was a great guy. And, you know, my dad actually is a great guy because one thing about him, he took care of his kids. And the only reason why he did not take care of me was because my mom kept me from him. So that's one thing I could say. One thing I could say about it is that my dad is a good man. He's a good, he's a good father. Not like any other guy. You know, he had women, you know, <laughs> my dad is very handsome. And when he was younger, he was even more handsome. So, um, you know, it's like, he, you know, he had his little girls. He was telling me about how he had like, my mom, my mom was like the girl that he, he said that he, he loved my mom. He said at first, he told me the truth. He said that originally my mom was hard to get because all the dudes, you know, in the, on the block, basically in the Bahamas were trying to get my mom, but my mom wasn't interested in any one of them. So the dudes were like, well, my dad is known to get all the girls. So that his friends was like, yo, Jocelyn, which is my mom's name, they were like, if you can get Jocelyn, if you say you got the juice right and you can get any girl you want, if, for example, you can get Jocelyn, which is my mom, we'll pay you $500. So literally, my mom started off as a bet. My mom was a bet. Basically, can you get this girl? So he got her. And the, and his friends were like, oh, you the man, you the man, you the man, you really got her. But he said that he later on fell for her because he liked how she basically was to herself. She wasn't a busybody. She wasn't like out here in these streets, just like all over this, you know, just all on the scene and in everybody's face. Like she was the good girl, stayed home, no friends, just kind of like to herself. So he said he liked that about her. He said later on, he fell in love with my mom. Then he said that he had another girl you know, that wanted him. And then he had another girl that wanted him that he was messing with. That girl was like basically, you know, paying for him to be with her. Like he gave, she gave him money 
and he basically would just take the money and he would go buy things for himself. Mm. I'd be like, Dad, like you, I was like, Dad, you really like, you know, he was telling me how it was one girl that basically wanted him so bad that she, there was other dudes that wanted her, but she wanted my dad. And so the dudes would give her money and then, and then the and then the girl would give my dad the money and my dad would go shopping on a shopping spree off of another man and he really didn't want the other girl but it's like she basically was paying her way to his heart well she never reached his heart all he did was take her, the money or whatever but um that was her then there was the other lady who my mama basically was who hated my mom because he, she was jealous that you know she because she knew that my dad really like like my mom better like wanted my mom over her so you know that was the lady that was beefing with my mom and he had her but he was planning he told me he was planning to leave her to be with my mom because he really didn't want her like that it's just that you know yeah it was all in all my dad had all the girls pretty much and but ultimately he said the person that he wanted to settle down with I said, okay, so dad, out of all the girls, like you could be honest, you don't even have to say my mom just cause she's my mom. You can you can tell the truth, be honest. Um, I was like, out of all the girls, who did you wanna be with? Who did you wanna like build with? My dad told me too. He said, I liked, I liked your mom and I liked this other one. And you know, the reason why I basically wanted the other one was cause she had my child and your mom had not got pregnant with you yet. So when it came down to staying with someone, I stayed with the other girl or I was dealing with the other girl because she had a baby and your mom had not had you yet. So I'm like, I'm not gonna abandon my child. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna abandon my child. So I stayed with my baby mother and your mother being that she was childless and was just a girl that I basically liked or loved you know, I felt like I had more obligation to the other girl because she had a baby. My dad was a hot mess. You see, this is very confusing to people. As confusing as it is to me, it's it's not confusing because I get it. My dad was pretty much, he lived his life. He lived his best life. My dad definitely was out here in these streets with 30,000 women. And that's why my mama hates him because he wasn't, you know, loyal. But what I respect about my father is that he told me the truth. He's being, he was honest. Like, you know, I had a girl on every block and I'm like, okay. But you know, now he's 63 and he has a girlfriend and he's been with her for six years. And I said, dad, are you going to marry her? He was like, maybe. I was like, do you like her? Do you love her? He was like, I like her. I like mm -hmm. <laughs> So I don't know. I don't know if he gonna ever get married. I don't think my dad is ever gonna get married. My dad has never been. I don't think my dad has ever been married. My dad is not. My dad got heck of baby. He got baby mamas, but he ain't never been married before. I think he got married once, and then they divorced. And he said the woman that he was with that he had separated from was the most volatile relationship he was in, and he really didn't like her to begin with. But he, you know. He dated her for looks, I guess, because he said that she was gorgeous. But anywho, yeah, my daddy was out here in these streets and he's 63 now though. But so now he's, you know, with one girl and he's not cheating. So I think, and um, <laughs> he, you know, yeah. You can learn a lot from men. You know, you can learn a lot from men. You know, if you just listen to him, I was just listening to him and he was just telling me all the stories about back in the day about, you know, how he got my mom, you know, how he got her. You know, it's crazy that my mom started off as a vet, but he fell for her later. Nuts. And, um, you know, he was putting me up on game with what guys do, you know, so I had a good time with my, my dad. It, it was a success, guys. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I'm going to wash some dishes and then I'm going to like, just like get in the bed. <laughs>